We do more than ever in our browser. I know I use my browser more than I do my operating system. But with so many tasks, linear tabs just don't really cut its way to organize my online life anymore. So here I am with just 12 tabs, and as you can see, it's already unwieldy. I have to scroll back and forth to see them all. What's even worse is that, say, I'm here on this tab about cameras, and I decide that I want to buy a DSLR, so I open up a new tab. I perform a DSLR search. I open up a couple of these links my tasks have become cluttered. This tab bar, like my tab is over here for cameras and over here for everything else. And what I really want to do is just be able to zoom out and see all my tabs. Welcome to Tab Candy. What I'd like to be able to do now is just drag my tabs into a set. So let me do that. I take my tabs, all the camera, and I just drag them into a group, toss them one on top of each other. It's really that simple. Notice that when I zoom into a tab, only the tabs from that group are shown. This lets me focus. And if I happen to open up a new tab, then that tab is also in this group. That lets me keep my tasks together. I can also name a group for convenience. It's easy to move and throw things around, or even to create new groups. So here I have all of my procrastination stuff. And actually here, let me name it procrastination. What I'd like to do is take the whole thing, I could resize it to make it big, but in this case I'm going to resize it to make it small. When I do that, you can see that it stacks itself up, out of mind, out of sight. And I can click the top one, which will bring me back to where I was, or I can click this little icon, which will fan everything out. I can either drag something out, or I can click one to go there. Tab Candy scales well. With normal tabs, when I had 12, it was hard to manage. Here you can see that after browsing for a day, I have roughly 30 tabs. And even though the screen is the size of a netbook, I still have room to spare. And each task is in its own group, with its own pared down set of tabs, which makes the whole thing very easy to manage. One of the benefits of a tangible area like this is that it takes advantage of our ability to remember where things are physically. Like always knowing where the knives are in your kitchen, or the staplers on your desk. I know my email here, and all my communication is always up and to the left. And that my to-read list is always here on my right, so that I can avoid info guilt. And that my work on tab candy and coding is here in the middle. Physical consistency is comfort. When I don't need a group or task anymore, I can get rid of it, the whole thing, with one click. This is just an alpha. It's missing features like being able to search your tabs, automatically create groups, or share groups with friends. We're currently working on performance, unit tests, and the like, so we can add it as a feature in Firefox proper. But here's a tour of what's coming soon. Back to the kitchen example. While you know where roughly everything is, sometimes you still can't find your scissors. That's why we know we need to add search to tab candy. So you just type in what you want to find, we find that tab immediately for you. How many of us are guilty of this? We keep a tab open as a to-do list item or something we want to read. We suffer from info guilt and our browser doesn't help. That's why we know we want to add something like save for later. That way you can take a group, drag it in, and it'll ask you, hey, why will you ever look at this thing again? Later, you can go back and look for this thing and be reminded why you saved it in the first place. I've already shown you that it's easy to have 30 tabs or more on a netbook sized screen, so all of a sudden with Tab Candy, people are probably going to have hundreds of tabs. We'll need to start using the semantic information the users give us, how big they make the groups, to unload some tabs from memory so that you can have a fast and responsive system even when it reaches operating system scale. The next cool thing is extensibility. Imagine, now that the browser has an understanding of what you're trying to do in each group, that it can help you. Something I think that extensions are going to be able to do great. In this example, I'm looking for a camera, as I was before, but an extension has modified my group to say, hey, look, I saw you looking for a camera. Let me give you the ratings. Let me give you the best prices. Let me give you the specs. And here are some images. And clearly, this isn't just for cameras. It could do this for vacations or other shopping. It can do it for suggestions. Hey, you're looking at these two sites? You might like this other site. You could do it for add-ons. You could even do it for games. 
The next thing you can do is customize. We have spatial memory, but we can go a step further. We can let people choose colors for their groups, or even personas for their groups. And you could take an entire group and say, I'm going to make this in private browsing mode, uh, and then we'll just have to figure out what to do with all those pink tones. You can even do multiple profiles so that I can sign into Gmail with two different accounts and two different groups. Similarly, search in the browser hasn't evolved in the longest time, but we can go the next step, task-specific visualizations. There are lots of interesting directions to explore. Tab Candy can also help you share. In this case, I'm going to share with myself using Firefox Sync so that I can drag tabs and whatnot to my phone, so I always have access to my data. But I can use the same metaphor to share with people. In this case, Mick. I'll take a tab and share it with him, or I can take an entire group and share it with him. That's not something that was possible before. I can take this idea one step further and hook up a group with a person. So now we are co-browsing a session together. Immediately he sees the research that I do, and I benefit from the research that he does. The final idea here is that you don't just have to have groups, you can have metagroups. I can take everything I was doing and put it into a research group, and when I zoom out, I can see all the other stuff I was doing. In this case, I have my home group and my work group, and I could have lots more. So when I zoom out again, I get all of my state, and not just my state, my friend's state. Here I have Mick, a tool, Xander's, and Mardak's work. And if I zoomed out once again, maybe I could have the worlds. And that's the brief intro to Tab Candy. You can follow me at AzaAz on Twitter for news. Go to this URL to give us feedback, which we really are looking for or to get involved with the project, even start coding. This is Aza on behalf of the Firefox Tab Candy team.